Welcome everybody, this is Link. And Sora. We are, uh... Sonic. <laughs> yeah. Um, I killed him, I took his head. A very gruesome man, aren't you? Eggman didn't like it. Uh, as you can hear by the echo, I haven't been over to his house to put up soundproofing, nor have we no. even thought about that. And he is still in that room, so... Although we we didn't do a live stream this past week because I had homework and I went up hunting, which we'll get yeah. into a little later, that... Didn't room, get into your did ya. The room is still coming along. Also, I don't know what's going on with XSplit. For the past two weeks, Skype has been off, so Timur has a delay in his audio compared to his video. The video is off a little bit, so when he says hi, say hi. What? Hi. <laughs> you gotta pay attention, man. See, like, there's that delay you can see. But uh, hopefully that doesn't distract you guys too much. Now that I pointed it out, it should distract you even more. <laughs> uh, let's go into statistics. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. In the statistics, so YouTube... You, have, you need to go fuck for the sour candy. <laughs> YouTube, we're at 173 subscribers, which is up two. So we're doing good. Um, we are past 171! Also, despite only putting up one video for the past week, which was our um, our weekly update number 28, which this is number 29, guys. Woo. Yes, this is um, 29. Uh... We are at 2,950 views, which is up 13 from last week, so surprisingly, but it can happen. Um, Twitter, we're at 1,145 followers, which is up 4, and I believe it's up 1 from the max. I think the highest before was 1,144. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Uh, Facebook, we're at 100 likes. Uh, Twitch, well, that's the same. Twitch, we're at 26 yeah. followers, which is the same. And we're at 448 views, which, despite us not having any stream, streaming, we're up two views. Yeah, so, that's always yeah. fun. That's nice. Everything went up uh, this week. Me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Joining me on Smite. Didn't really get into any matches this weekend. I've been watching, I've more or less been watching the NA, the North American qualifiers. So I'll be on more this weekend because I don't think there's any tournament events going on. Okay. So. Uh, answering last week's question now? What was last week's question, sir? It was what is your opinion on FPS? FPS, as in first person shooter, not frames Shoot. per second. Yes. <laughs> Um, my opinion on FPSs are, they're fun, I wasn't really into them much when I was younger, because, you know, I didn't really have an Xbox, so I didn't play Halo or, like, Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. I get it. I played more, like, Sly Cooper, Ratchet and Clank. Those are all third person. Legend of Zelda, Definitely Sonic the third Hedgehog. Person. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, when it was Sonic Adventure, that was third person, otherwise it was the 2D side-scroller, yep. right? Yeah, because, you know, there weren't many Sonic games out at the time when we were in, like, grade school. Yeah. Did they ever do 2.5D? Um, yeah, they did with Sonic episode, with Sonic 4 episodes 1 and 2. Okay. Okay. kind of like 2.5D. Okay. I like 2.5D. Uh, I've mentioned it before, but one of my favorite games with that is Donkey Kong Country uh, for <laughs> the Wii. Mm -hmm. Um, I played that game a lot. Okay, my opinion is that first-person shooters, similar to you, they're not my favorite thing, though, because I never had an Xbox or yeah. anything. My newest system is a Wii, or a yeah. DS Lite, and or a PS2. Those are my newest two systems. Weeks, you've been asking me a lot of questions about 360, so I'm feeling like you're planning on getting one here soon. I will probably be getting one after Christmas during those sales. All right. Um, <laughs> but I'm getting a TV for the room for uh, you and Molly. Friday, so that should be fine, or that should be fun, and that's what we'll be playing the 360 yep. on. And I definitely recommend if you can get one that has HDMI ports. Oh, I'm gonna try that because that way because I Because it makes the three sixty look nice. <laughs> also that way I can stream. So that'd yeah. be a lot of fun. Um what else can I say about it? Uh my games that I used to play were uh Legend of Zelda. Pretty much if there's yeah. a Legend of Zelda game I played that. Otherwise I didn't really play that much. Um I 
was a massive gamer. We can confirm this. Oh god, this guy played games forever, and then when he got Halo, he just didn't stop. It was obnoxious. Oops. Yeah, that one football practice I showed up to after playing till four in the morning. Yeah, th there were a couple that you stayed up till like one or two in the morning, and then went to football at five was or no six o'clock, yeah. six o'clock. Yeah. I was like, "Are you insane?" Because you are yes, insane, I am. but <laughs> yes, you are. I'm the good kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so in regards to two weeks ago's question, um, yes. Ronnie Moranis is hyped for Majora's Mask on 3DS as well. His favorite Zelda is definitely a link to the past, though. He says, "Also, keep up the vids, dude." So thank you to him. He is a old colleague, I guess. I don't know if I would classify... We've known him since, like, kindergarten. Yeah, I, I never really was too close to him, other than... I back... hung out with him a couple times. We played some Mario Party, I think. Back in the day, this guy taught me how to skateboard, and he also, um... He got me the Highland Shield in Ocarina of Time, because I didn't want to face the Redeads in that, um, in that area with the graveyard. So, to this day... I mean, I'm... he is a pretty cool guy. Yeah, he is. And to this day, I have not beaten that part on my own. I to this day? <laughs> I haven't beaten it on my own. He beat it for me, and then I went through that playthrough. I never went back to beat it, and then I made my brother beat it himself when he was playing it. <laughs> I don't, I don't like, I helped him, and I pointed him out the right direction. I just don't like that area. <laughs> You're scared of the awkward of time, Redead. <laughs> I don't like them, yeah. Like, I've talked about this before in videos, but the Ocarina of Time Redeads, when you look at them, it leaves a bit to the imagination because they're yeah, they're pixelized, they're kind of blurry. You can have a lot more nightmares about those, but when you have that's that is true. I'm a yeah. sucker for graphics. If you got a game that's got good graphics, I will I will die all over that and be happy. But like in Twilight Princess, you have these redeads that are the redead soldiers. I think they call them. Is that that might be wrong? Anyway, they're. They have all this really cool, um, like, clothing, these, this really awesome weapon on their back that they never use, um, and they have all this awesome design to them, it doesn't leave anything to your imagination. So, when That's I see true. it in Doesn't Twilight Princess, I see it, it's coming at me, it's killing me, whatever, but when I see the Redead from Ocarina of Time, it's the shapeless blob that's trying to hunt my ass off. Um, yeah. so that scares me a Wind lot Waker's more. Wind Waker's pretty bad too, though. I have not played I them. I hated Wind Waker Redeads. <laughs> I feel like those one would be about as bad because they're the cell shaded, so it's a yeah. little bit more to the imagination that way. Anyway, when to they the... pop out of like graves. <laughs> yeah, comments of the week were or not comment uh, question of the week we're still on. So, um, Ronnie Moranis' is, uh, answer was that his favorite is Halo Three. His best memories on Xbox Live and custom games ranked. Griffball co-op campaign. Uh, the game gives Griffball. you an option for a view like Bethesda game. I usually prefer the first-person view. It honestly just depends on how on the game and how well the camera is implemented in the third-person view. And most of the games I play are third-person. However, the game that I will be playing until the day I die is Evolve. And hmm. that is a first-person view. So it has a massive video game boner for that game. Oh yeah, it's... It's first-person view as a hunter and third-person view as a monster, which is, like, a really cool thing I would thing probably play as a monster more if I had the option. You do have the option, actually, just to give my plug-in for the game. When you play... Then, yeah, you, I'd be monster. You set up your uh, classification for what monster you want, or what you want to play. And you can rank them, so, like, monster is number one, trapper is number two, etc., etc. What they'll try to do oh, that's, is... Oh, that's actually really nice. And what they'll try to do is get you in your first pick, and if they find a match but you can't be that one then they'll put you as your second pick third pick etc so okay. that's actually pretty handy they're also putting in a single player version which i'm i'm hoping is going to be more than what it sounds like right now but what it sounds like is that it's just going to be the same thing as the multiplayer except mm -hmm. it's going to be Only cpus you. so uh, it's going to be you with uh three other cpus fighting one cpu monster and the thing I was hoping for was for more of a storyline where you have to go through and okay. learn about the plan. Kind of like and... Left 4 Dead-ish? Yes, just like Left 4 Dead, where you have this option to play co-op, where you're doing this uh, giant battle of whatever, trying to conquer something. Or you have the option to go through a storyline. Because, in my mind, a 
only multiplayer game is it's doomed. not a good game. It's doomed to fail eventually. It's it doomed is. to just go down. It's because you're gonna interest will die out. Because you're gonna play it for a while and then be like, I don't know what to do anymore, or you're gonna play it until you don't want to play it anymore, and there's gonna be no reason to come back. Like in Halo, yeah. my biggest uh, joy when it comes to Halo, and I'm not a Halo player, is that if I get bored in the actual play of the online stuff, I can go into single player and do the storyline and actually have something set up for me. And mm -hmm. I like that a lot. I think that's a lot cooler than if you just have one or if you just have the other, because in this day and age, everything is about uh, online play. But at the same time... Even Destiny became a, like an MMO. Yeah, oh god, yeah. Um... Anyway, uh, like Demolinator... People were expecting, like, an epic... Oh, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh... I don't know, Destiny's a really I, cool I could have ranted on about that for a while. Destiny's really cool, and I will probably get that as soon as I get an Xbox 360 or an Xbox One. It looks really, really, really good on the One compared to the 360. I looked at a comparison in person, actually, not even online, oh. um, of the moon map, and it, it makes a decent difference. So, uh, I, no, Demolinator, no. Uh, he says that, uh, as far as my opinion of first-person shooters goes, I feel it's much more immersive than games featuring an over-the-shoulder perspective. There are certain weaknesses to the style that are simply limited by current mediums of technology, but I've loved FPS since I was a kid, and a lot of times you, the player, can assume the role of the silent protagonist rather than being a puppeteer guiding a character to not die in his attempts to tell you a story, which... I agree too. Like Legend of Zelda does it well, where you're not Link, where yeah. you're you're not in his body, and they've been doing that since game one. Now, since it's dangerous to go alone, take yeah. this. <laughs> since then, they've been doing that, and it's worked very well for them. If they were to do a first-person game, I don't think it would turn out as well because no, in the game, the first-person Zelda, it's very arena-based, like. Mm -hmm. small field arena based where if there's monsters coming from you from different sides you can hit them um the closest thing to first person that i've noticeably crossbow seen training the crossbow training yes exactly and that worked well for the crossbow training because you have a crossbow you're yeah that's the whole point of the game and that's just it's like a mini game honestly it's not even like a full title it's a spin-off yeah um Demolinator's favorite game is Quake 3 Arena. We have um, a lot of comments. It's his favorite game of all time, and a strong example of what first-person shooters should aspire to be. The action is hectic, the gameplay is balanced, and it's ridiculously fun to play. The story given is relatively limited, but it provides enough to what the gameplay is meant to be, a multiplayer arena. Personally, I've generated a few stories to guide my playing the game, and I've immersed myself in the story more so than I have in pretty much any other game. Just to let you guys know, when it comes to Quake, don't mess with the Molinator. Um, yeah, he's actually <laughs> he's very hardcore about his Quake. He, as we've seen in comments before. Uh, director Goss, sorry about the pronunciation, put out an animated story he invented for Quake 3 called Arenas. Very cool stuff, all done privately at his own cost. It's very entertaining in its own right. I could gush about my good times in that game f forever, we know. But I'll stop here until provoked again. <laughs> I Which can... will be next week. <laughs> Probably. Call of Duty 4 is one of my favorite games, just so Sora isn't completely wrong in his guess. So, applause to you. Um, but nothing compares to Quake 3 and its paradigm of games. It's my... It's the paradigm of games, in my opinion. So, Demolinator feels very avid about this game, and I would s yes. say, good for you. We will probably end up having you play Quake 3 or some form of Quake for us. Yeah, and you'll, you'll, talk about Quake, you'll play Quake 3 while we uh, maybe do a games cast about it. <laughs> yeah, I think that'd be a great idea. We got that nice new couch, we put Timmer on one side with me uh, next to him, and then Demolinator playing on the other side. We got this. <laughs> we... <laughs> anyway. okay, look what a new couch opens up. Yeah, yeah, that new couch is just a, a, a godly thing. gift. Whoa, I heard myself. Okay, sorry. But you sounded like a moron. Wow. And moving on. <laughs> live stream uh, announced. Boy chaser. Live stream. This Friday, I hopefully will be doing a live stream with you. I'm not exactly sure what time, though. Um, 
I'm going shopping and I work, so... I have been practicing up on my Halo 4, so... Oh, wonderful, so I'll look like I got more through like noob. two three. I got through like two, three chapters on Legendary Solo. I need to get a 360 just so I can catch up with the first-person shooter world, because I don't even know how to shoot in those games. Like, I suck. You give me, like, a sniper position, I can't do shit. I, I just can't. It's like, there's a guy right there. I can shoot him, right? Yeah. Hits him in the knee. Well, I got him. That's that's about you, all I got. You, you Skyrim, Tim. <laughs> yeah. You got people doing, like, 360 no-scopes? I can't do a 360 slow-motion um, with scope. I can't, I can't even... Nope. Nope. Okay. I think my long, longest distance snipe in GTA 5 was across an airfield. Hit the guy in the head. I played Evolve. I shot a monster in its weak point. That's about all I got. Okay. All uh, right. Uh, social media. We actually... Uh, media. It's, a, it's a good thing this video is a little bit more delayed than what I was hoping for because just before we started this, I got a new follower for us on Twitter. So Yay. thank you for joining our squad if you are watching this. Maybe you are, maybe not. Um, for anybody who has uh, meandered here from our Twitter, Facebook, or even our Twitch, thank you very much for watching us. It really does mean a lot. Um, thank you. I don't know how else I can say it. Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, there have been issues, and I've blamed some of them on Timmer, and I've blamed some of them on me, and he did get me some videos, Demolinator. He got me five of them. I don't know if that's the correct number of videos. Five was the I amount should... that Evan had recorded. Okay. Um, I will be editing those and putting them up for this Saturday, next Saturday, 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 etc. Um, there will Doing be... Doing the old Monster Truck Rally voice. <laughs> there... <laughs> Saturday, 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 Yu-Gi-Oh! videos on TRS Productions! For once in a while. <laughs> every once in a while. It's not every week. Okay, so... Uh, we will hopefully have more videos after that coming, so we don't just yep. stop at five, but it's... It was my fault. I looked on my computer and couldn't find them, so I assumed we didn't have them. But I um, actually did I have will... them. So Yu-Gi-Oh! videos will be up soon. Sorry about that. My bad. Mostly my bad. Not all his bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, you okay. forgot which jump drive you had it on. I forgot I put it on my jump drive. I thought I put it right on my computer right away. Um, okay, what's up with TRS? What's up with you? Uh, what's up with me? Um, well, Friday, the Game Club at DW Waukesha had Smash Bros. U. Invited me to play and didn't, like, say there were characters that were restricted. So I'm like, ah, oh, I'll jump in with Sonic. See if anyone's a good player here. <laughs> I never dropped out at first when I was playing Sonic. Yeah, so... So, uh, <laughs> tomorrow... Me, Evan, Axel, and Anthony... Are going to go against the best four of the UW Waukesha Game Club. Nice. In a 4v4 team match. Nice, nice. Hope that goes well, and we'll hear about I that. I feel kind of bad for doing it, though, because me, Axel, and Devin, we, uh, or me, Anthony, and Devin, we can just look at each other and know what combo we want to set up. <laughs> I hope you're not looking at each other if you're playing the game, though. Well, like, we can just give, like, a slight nod and we know what combo to set up. <laughs> I was just joking. Okay. Cool. Well, good luck, and we'll hear about that so, next week in the update video. Right? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Which, um, hopefully we crush them, even though your friend's there. <laughs> I really hope he's on it so I crush him. Wait, which friend? The one at UW Waukesha Game Club. Which friend? The one that you did the podcast with. So, Timmer misunderstood what I had said, and I must have not been clear. He had space, just like he normally does, and now uh, there is no podcast that I... <laughs> oh my god. There is no podcast at UW Waukesha. The guy that I was doing the podcast with is not on the game club. I had a friend who joined the UWM Smash Bros. Club, and I was talking about that. He's been the entire Waukesha game club. No one's because part of the Waukesha it's... Game Club. I don't know anyone other than you and Molly who go I'm to saying, Waukesha. Maybe he's better than the Waukesha Game Club, oh, too. Oh, better than. I thought you said Ben on. Okay. No. My bad. <laughs> okay, so anything uh, else up with oh. you? Um, well, let's see here. Did I might consider getting Kid Icarus Uprising. 
Okay, okay. Um, I'm 95% complete done with Saints Row 4. <laughs> nice, nice, okay. In two days. <laughs> yeah, that was quite quick. Um, yeah. So, about the TRS room, you paint it yet? Um, no. Did you get the paint? I haven't painted it yet. I'm between two colors. <laughs> Are you going to send them to me? Yeah, I'll send them to you. Okay, awesome. So, the room will be painted and nice, and we have a poster for it already. Um, yeah, we do. We actually have two, because I have a full poster thing, which if you read, uh, I'll I'm kill gonna you. I'm going to put up my One Piece one in here, too. The Luffy Sweet. one you got me. So, I got him a... A One Piece poster, we have an Assassin's Creed Unity poster, and we have my Evolve poster with, like, four different things in it, so okay. that'll all be going up in there. Also, um, if I can find a way to do it, I'm going to frame some Game Informers and up in I there. I do have something up on the wall in here already for Link. You do? Oh, oh, is it the... The... I don't know what's <sighs> it. The Highland Shield. What? Yeah, check it out. Highland yeah, the Hyrulean Shield. shield. Hyrulean Shield, whatever. You, hi, you mean yeah. Hyrulean? Eh, I say it a lot of Highland ways. Shield, okay. <laughs> anyway, pronunciation is also not one of those things guaranteed yes. by TRS. And right next to this is my Kingdom Hearts 2 poster. Oh yeah, that's up in there. So we got all kinds of our games that we love. Um, yeah, what's up with me is I went hunting and edited a lot of videos on the way up and a lot of videos on the way back, so although you didn't have videos last week, you'll definitely have videos this week. I apologize. Oh, you're kidding me. Remember how we were looking for the black back of a remote? I'm staring right at it. It's across from me in the office. Didn't I, like, go in there and look? Yeah, you did. Yeah, and you were like, it's not in there. There's no way it's in there. It's sitting on the desk. Gotta love you, because I can't hate you. It's sitting right next to the printer. We have uh, videos coming up, and there will be a big event next week. Um, next? Yes, I believe. Next Sunday is the last day of this month, and the day that we release the 300th video on our channel. Oh, yeah! Um, we have more than 300 videos, but they're not all public. So next mm -hmm. Sunday, our update video will be the 300th video, and it will be our 30th update. It will. Man, so, that's a multiple of 10. Yeah, so we're going to have lots of threes. Hopefully Mathematic! We can... <laughs> Hopefully we can get that many uh, subscribers, because if we get 30 subscribers, we're at 200 subscribers. Well, 203, which would be yeah, really nice. Yeah, 203. Okay. And then Link has to finish that drawing. Oh, yes, which is a nice so guys, segue. If you want to do a really good early April Fool's joke, that'll be funny. Just overnight, get 200 subscribers and fuck Link over. Yeah, if you if you do that overnight, I'm SOL. Just to let you guys know. <laughs> do it! Do it! Do it! <laughs> okay, question of the week. Fuck Link over! Question, that's not a question. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like the spunk, but that's not a question. What is the question of the week? All right. Question of the week is, I think the next couple of weeks I'm going to do asking what's your opinion on certain like genres of games to see what type of games you'd want us to play. So, not what is your opinion on them particularly, but what is your opinion on watching somebody play? Like, this week is going to be what's your opinion of people like streaming or playing sandbox type games. Sandbox games like such GTA, as Minecraft, Minecraft, Okay. Terraria. I have a Those good. Okay, I have a good opinion on that already to start off with. Um, so we can and talk. About I know those type of games are gaining in popularity. So want to see what you guys would think of us doing like a TRS Minecraft series. I would love to do that. Number one, um, we can have people send in things that we should build, and we can talk to people on the stream and stuff. Also, another game that we can toss in there is Universe Sandbox. I've heard it's really good, and it's on my oh, yeah. wish list on Steam. I haven't played it, though, so that'd be nice. Um, Don't Starve is another great sandbox game. That I've been I've... watching some Don't Starve. It, it looks fun. It they have a multiplayer mode now, too. It's not released yet. It's in I've beta. I've been watching Markiplier play it. <laughs> it. It's in beta. You have to get into the it beta. It looks amazing. You have to get into that. <laughs> looks amazing, though. As far as I know, it's still in beta. Um, 
if it did come out, I'm excited and I get it for free because I bought the game already. Um, along with an, a DLC, which is, I think, the, the first... The Don't Starve Together. No, uh, yeah, I know what that is, but the DLC I got was Reign of Giants, which I believe is the first DLC I've ever gotten. That's how much I don't game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so... Answer that in the comments below. Also, 200 sub art giveaway, as we said, if you screw me over... Fuck me, Cobra! Do I'm it! Do it over. for me! Fuck him over! Fuck him over! We need 17 subscribers at that point, and uh, I would recommend getting more, because we might I lose a few. I have such the voice of mischievousness. I went, fuck him over. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll be working on that this winter, so that we can get it done. It's almost been a year since we started putting up videos. I haven't looked at it the has. dates, but it's really close. I never thought we'd break a thousand views. Yeah, and now we're almost at three thousand. I'll be surprised if we break ten k. Oh my gosh! Next week we're gonna be at three hundred videos, three thousand views, the thirtieth uh, weekly update. We're like on the thirtieth. On the 30th. Guys, my mind is blowing up. Oh. oh, this is awesome. So, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Get us those extra views that we need. Get us some subscribers if you want. Tell us about our channel. Tell us about our channel. Tell Yeah, yeah tell us know, about our channel. Our Why channel not? Is. Tell us about our channel. Tell us what we need to do differently. Tell us what you like, etc. I'm going to go ahead. edit this because there's a lot of blank space in these where we're staring at each other, not talking. <laughs> What? Metal Sonic says we need more Ratchet and Clank. We do need Ratchet and Clank, but I believe I, I believe my brother called that uh, camera guy said he wanted to oh, yeah. do Ratchet and Clank with us. Please like, comment, <laughs> share us, subscribe. We love you all. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Da 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 da